Hello, buddy. It's Henry Weeder, man. I'm working on a Generac carburetor. It's been sitting for a while. They went to go use it on his pressure washer, and it wouldn't run intermittently. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the... I already took it apart. I'm going to take the needle off. But look at the float. The float has all kinds of dust residue on it. See, now if I don't get all this off carefully, right, I'm not going to put a new one in. I'm just going to clean this off, then I'll carb spray it. But you got to get all this dust off. What happens is it gets, comes off, and it'll go in the very bottom of the Venturi, the screw that holds it in and clog it, which I already did a video showed how it was clogged, but you can see that residue on there. See it? You don't get that off there, that's moisture that gets drawn in and then what's ever in the moisture stays and then it clogs up the carburetor. Because this is an open system, it's not closed. And so that's why I use marine fuel. I recommend marine fuel. Um, high octane and some kind of stabilizer, it's your choice. I've used different types. I use True Fuel. I like that. That's just me. I'm sure somebody can debunk some. You can find something on it. But all right, so I got most of it off. And so now I'll use my brake cleaner, carb cleaner, and I'll spray the rest of it off. And I'll get that clean. You got to get that residue out of there. So the same thing with a bowl. You got to get down in here. That's why I like this. Was picked it up at Harbor Freight, I think it was. You can get down in here. Right. You want to get all that residue out because that minute stuff, you can see it, will collect in the bottom of the bowl, will get up in that venturi and clog it, and then you won't, it won't run. And that's what just happened. I just used my pipe cleaner from my uh, settling system and cleaned out a clogged bottom jet, and it had two other jet holes that were clogged up. So that's the only way to get that out of there. So it's careful on this plastic, you don't break it. Get down in there and get all that mess out of there, all that dust. Because it will come off. And it might run for a day, it might run two tanks, three tanks, and then do it again. So you want to kind of clean it up real good. And make sure your gas smells fresh. If it's not fresh, uh, find a proper way to dump it. Um, typically, I, I'll put it in a five-gallon bucket, and I'll let it just sit and evaporate off. That's the safest way. Don't pour it in the grass. Don't pour it in the ground. You can just let it, you can just let it vent off. It'll vent, it'll vent off and disappear. So that's usually the most safest way that I know of. If it's bad, just don't dump them in the ground. Yeah, you gotta clean this too. I got a wire brush up here. It's up. It's up on this tube, the pickup tube. It's up on that. You just gotta make sure you got it cleaned out real good. You don't want any residual coming back and uh, causing you problems. All right, I'm clean. Now my parts are in the ultrasonic sink doing their magic. Now this float here has a little spring on it, so you don't want to lose it. It's little springs right there. Little little bitty spring. That goes on this needle. And the reason I do that is that they do it so it locks down on this float, see? So don't lose that little spring. Otherwise it'll wiggle around in there. That keeps it from wiggling around and leaking. There you go. Um let's see what else. We can go over this fuel shut off is sticky. So I'll spray a little WD-40 up in here. Without getting it all over me. I'll let that soak in there. And that's sticky. I might have to pull the cap off it. Let's see what the WD-40 can do for me. You don't want that to be sticky. That should be smooth moving, not real rough. But it gets debris in it. it it's uh, It needs a little bit of lubricant once in a while. There we go. Now we're working. WD-40 get up in there and pump it out. You want your on off, your fuel on off to work. You want it to be smooth. It was pretty hard. I can barely move it. I might pull that off and just clean it anyways. Chuck it. All right. That's Henry Reuter, man. Just doing some maintenance and discussion on a carburetor for a Generac. Nothing. They're all about the same. Not nothing fancy. Occasionally, you got to pull them apart and clean them. Take pictures or videos of what you're doing so you know how to put it back together. Look on YouTube if you're not sure how to do something, and maybe me or somebody else out there will help you. All right? Henry Reader Man out. Have a good day.